Hello, boys. How we feeling today? Good? Good? Yeah, so am I. So am I. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, gentlemen. We have a wild card playoff game tonight now, don't we? We just played 162 games to get to the point where we now have to play one game to see if we get to go deeper into the playoffs. You know what that's like, guys? That's like sitting on the shitter for three hours and a fucking raisin falls out. One raisin. One little fucking raisin. Three hours on the shitter. Now look, let's be serious. You guys earned the right to play the Minnesota Twits in a one-game playoff to determine who moves on. You guys control your destiny. What have I been saying all year? What? What have I been saying? You get into the postseason any way you can because once you get there, you never know what can happen. And I've seen it all, men. Trust me, I've seen it all. I once saw Ralph Halk fall down an entire flight of stairs, land on his head, get up and walk away like nothing happened. Why is this important? It isn't, but it was an amazing thing to watch. You had to be there. I want you guys to realize we have the firepower to take this postseason a long way, okay? And I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. I know I've been hard on you all year, but you're like sons to me. This could have been a very bad year. This could have been a down, depressing year with all the changes and the youth and the question mark with the veterans and that train wreck of a road trip to the West Coast. But you guys hung tough for 162 games. You won over 90, and now look where you are. One game at home, and if you win it, you move on. Look around you. Take it all in. You know, and I don't even care if I get fined for what I'm about to say. I am going to mybookie.ag, putting in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and I'm going to bet you guys to win tonight. I mean, how in the world could I not want to do anything but win? So why can't I bet on you to win if I want you to win, if I need you to win? I just want you guys to know I'm betting on you to win and fuck the league if they find out I'm laying down 245 bucks to win 100 and that's that. There's nothing they could do. Sebi, you have your work cut out for you. You know that. Santana is a damn good pitcher who threw very well against us on September 18th and he plays a mean guitar. Sevi, you need to pitch just as well as home as you do on the road. You just do, baby. You just do. So get your fucking head right and pitch me a gem. Pitch me a gem. The rest of you. Judge. Castro. D.D. Gotti. Sanchez. Chase or Matt, I don't know yet. Ellsbury or Hicks, I don't know. There's too much talent. What the fuck? What lineup do I put? I don't know. I don't know. Frazier and Bird, guys, we are one hell of a lineup when we see the ball, when we swing at good pitches, when we play the game like the fucking Yankees. Everyone, just be ready. That's all I can say. All hands on deck. We have to win tonight to move on. So we take it literally one game at a time. Tonight's all that matters, gentlemen. Leave it all out on the field. The winter is long and dreary. Let's shorten it up if we can, guys. All right. Go grab some early chow. Then let's stretch. Let's hit. Let's field. Let's warm up. And when that game starts, I want you fucking animals to eat lightning and crap 
thunder or crap lightning and eat thunder or fucking whatever comes out of your ass, anything that's in the fucking meteorologists, just fucking whatever, I don't give a shit. As long as you guys go out there and fight, 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 you are the New York Yankees. The greatest sports franchise on the face of the earth. So start the next dynasty tonight. Now get out of my face, you beautiful fucking idiots.